creative Clara. Don't think you are. Well, anyway, let's get started. So I'm gonna say some hellos. Are you? Yep, 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 yep. You gonna help me? Uh, yeah. So I'd like to say a big hello to Joseph. Uh, and I'd like to say hello to Samuel. I'm going to say hello to Harry and Katrina. And I want to say a big hello to to make some amazing sock bunnies today in time for Easter. So, did you all manage to find a sock? So it could be mummy sock, daddy sock, grandma sock, your brother's sock, your sister's sock, a sock that's been hiding under the sofa for the past five, five months. As long as you have a sock, you can do this. So the first thing you need to do is grab your socks and decide what you're going to stuff them with. So I've got a few ideas here. I've got some shredded up paper. This is just stuff that's come through my door and some old bits of paper, some old letters and things. If you've got a paper shredder, then that's fantastic. Use the shreddings from that. We've also got cotton wool here. This is another thing you can use. So if you're using cotton wool balls, just make sure you separate them a little bit first to make them fluffier. And I've also got some straw type stuff as well. So if you've got any small animals and you've already got straw or sawdust, then you can use that. Or if you do have an abundance of socks or lots and lots of old clothes and fabric in your house that you don't know what to do with, you can always use those to stuff the socks with as well. So the first thing you need to do is grab your sock, open him up at the top like this, and then 
start stuffing him with whatever you've chosen. I'm going to use this shredded paper. And what you want to get to is we're making the rabbit's bunny, the, the rabbit's bunny, the rabbit's body. So we're making the rabbit's body. So this is going to be the largest part. So you want to get to about that kind of size on the rabbit's bunny, on the rabbit's body, okay, like this. So what I would suggest now is if you give it a pause, stuff your rabbit, and then I'll go on to the next bit. So once you've got your sock stuffed like this with a big enough body, then hit play again and you'll be ready to go, okay? So you should have all got your body now. You need to grab an elastic band. It doesn't matter um, what colour your elastic band is or what size. I'm going to come a little bit closer to show you guys this. So you need to pop the elastic band. You might need your grown-ups to help you with this. Anybody who wears a ponytail in their hair, Whoever puts your ponytail in should be very, very good at this, okay? So we've got our rabbit's body, like so. There he is. Moing, 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 moing. So your next step is to stuff the head. So the same way as the body, and you want to be stuffing, leaving a little bit at the top for the ears. So again, if you want to pause at this point, because it might take you a little bit longer, especially depending on what you're using to stuff your bunny with, if you are using the shredded paper, then you can always scrunkle that up a bit. If there's two of you doing this together, then you can always ask your grown-up to hold the sock open for you, and you can stuff it, or you can hold the sock open and your grown-up can stuff it for you, whichever you find the easiest. So, we should have, whoops, oh, oh dear gone on the floor he's hopping around already so once you've got your head your head needs to be a little bit smaller than the body so once you've done that your little bunny like so and you need another elastic band make sure you've left enough fabric on the top here so that you can make his ears okay so pop another elastic band around the top again it doesn't matter what color again the same way Twist, run around, twist, and around, twist, and around, whoops, a little bit of mine came out there, my little bunny, there you go, like that. so you should have your bunny body, your bunny head, okay, so again, if you want to pause, and just make sure that you've got that before you start doing any of the other features, before you start doing the ears or the face, that's fine, just pop myself back around here, <coughs> So you've got a few different options to the ears. So on this bunny here, my little puppet bunny, I've just cut the sock bit in half and he's got some lovely floppy ears. So that's really, really simple to do. You just get the top of your sock. Again, you might have to ask a grown up to do this for you. And then you just cut straight down the middle and you've got your nice floppy bunny ears. Hello, hello. If you want your ears to stand up, so a little bit more like this one here, then there's a few different ways you can do that. You can use, if you have any, some lollipop sticks or what they call craft sticks like this. Or you can also use, this is really cool, if anybody's got any spare pegs, you can pop some pegs on so that you make your bunny ears. So he ends up having ears like this. Whoop. you've got little peg ears on the top of your bunny and on this one if you use this you don't necessarily have to have a bit on the top okay but I'm going to show you how to use the lollipop sticks you can also use twigs to do this as well if you want to use some twigs they don't have to be lollipop sticks so you need to find roughly the center of your bunny and then cut down the middle Like this. Then, so you should have your two ears, like so. You get your lollipop stick and you pop it down inside the ear. You need to get another elastic band. 
you see that your lollipop stick stuck inside there you get another elastic band and elastic band the top of the sock around the top of the lollipop stick it's a bit fiddly so you might again have to ask your grown-ups but this will make your rabbit's ears stand up nice and straight <coughs> there we go cough but you've got one ear like that okay and then exactly the same on the other side tuck it down a bit you'll hide the lollipop stick okay so again if you want to pause and do this a little bit slower if there's a couple of you doing it at the same time again just pause me and then press play again and you can do this all in your own time okay so again we have another elastic band on the top there to hold the lollipop stick or the craft stick or the twig or whatever you've chosen to use you can say you don't have to do this bit you can always just do the floppy ears on the bunny like the one I showed you before. There we go. Da, 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 da. So you've got your two ears, you've got your little bunny head and your bunny body. <coughs> now, this is where you can get really, really imaginative because people, I'm sure, have got all different things in their houses so you need to make your bunny face and on mine you can see so this one here has got buttons these are just glued on buttons this one here I've just used some stickers and then just drawn a smiley face with a pen it's up to you what you want to use other things that you can use as well if you have them if you've got any of these little split pins kicking around anywhere in your house, you can stick those in. Um, if you've got any googly eyes, you can use googly eyes, stick those on. If you don't have any of these things, so don't worry, you can just draw your rabbit's face on. That would be absolutely beautiful, okay? And then, once you've chosen your faces, your rabbits are finished. If you want to give, or actually, if you want to give him some little whiskers, then you can use some wool. <coughs> if you've got a needle, then you can sew the wool just underneath where you've popped the nose. So, I got this one as well. If you don't have a needle and thread, then you can just glue it on. If you don't have any wool or cotton, you can just draw on some little whiskers onto his face as well. And there we go. And then they are all ready for Easter. If you want to make them into a puppet like my ones, you can just have them sat there just nicely on their own. But if you do want to make them into a puppet, it's very, very simple. So where you popped the elastic bands, you just need to pop a stick at the back. So I've got some dowels, but mine are just a over from a session I did um, a few months ago. But you can just use a normal stick. And then again with this one, we've just popped the dowel up inside of the bunny's head. Okay. So, so that's your sock bennies. As always, if you would like to share your creations, please share, please share, please show us what you've done. Um, then I really, really do appreciate it because as I always say and as I'm saying all the time, I don't get to see you guys. No one gets to see you. We can't see you. <laughs> um, and it does mean a lot to me to see what you're actually creating. Any questions, always get in touch with me. I don't mind at all. Um, don't forget that I've got my super doodlers as well. Um, today's super doodle is whales. Lovely, lovely whales. Um, so if you want to join in with that, then you can still do that. Send those over to me. Um, I will be doing something next week, but I'm not sure what yet. Hello. Hello. What are they doing? They're causing mayhem, those bunnies. They don't want me to talk anymore. Be quiet. Stop talking. <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go show me your rabbits do me a little puppet show if you want to that would be super good 
and I hope you all have a really, 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 really happy Easter.